Hello everybody, I'm the Queen of Rossinia, and you may have noticed like, what was it, five seconds of silence and blackness at the beginning of this video. That is because I hit the button to record and realized, do do do, that I needed to make the basic declaration of, let there be light. So. Now the princess of Rossinia has some way of balancing this flashlight to make it look halfway reasonable. I don't know the secret. I tried for 10 minutes trying to get this flashlight set up and it kept glaring in my poor little eyes. So I'm doing it weird like this. This is an odd angle. Basically what I am doing here is I'm doing a little bit of self educating. I am trying to figure out how to work this equipment unsupervised and yes I am basically unsupervised right now it is 5 30 in the morning and this is the second all-nighter in a row that I have pulled yes I have been up all night long this past night and last night and the day in between and the day before that why am I staying up like this good lordy I've got better things to do than to be torturing myself with lack of sleep. However, however, we have something called particularly cold weather happening right now. Of course, I may be a bit biased on that point because I'm from the south, but right now it is a warm and balmy 7 degrees Fahrenheit. None of that wimpy centigrade stuff. We're talking about serious serious stuff here Fahrenheit seven degrees so I had to I've had to stay up all night long to make sure the faucet keeps running and doesn't freeze up knock on wood that won't happen and to keep chucking wood in the heater every hour and a half or so to keep us from getting too terribly cold in here now I have no idea what this is going to be looking like on the image because the tablet is at a weird angle to me and you know how when the tablet's at a weird angle everything looks kind of strange so what I'm seeing here is like the center of my face with a real strong photographic negative effect going on so if that's how it turns out so be it we'll call it let's reminisce about the 70s day or something speaking of which I was watching I've been entertaining myself during the night and I've been watching some videos of various ones of my favorite YouTubers and I just got through watching a couple of videos by Dan and Phil. Now Dan and Phil are wonderful, wonderful people. I don't know them personally but maybe someday I'll get a chance to meet them. I don't know. But meanwhile I'm saying they're wonderful people, wonderfully wacky and something that they were saying spurred a memory in my little brain that I was going to share with y'all and this is how um, consequential it can be what you have as your major in college I mean it can really affect your social life in a way how so well it doesn't necessarily mean you have to have a glamorous major but consider when I was in college, I was a music major, a music performance major, to get persnickular about it. And if you want to get really totally accurate, I was an organ performance major and a harpsichord performance minor and German language minor. But we're focusing on the music. So can you imagine, like, for example, I'm on a first date with some fella. We go to King Pizza. <gasps> oh, I wish I could recommend King Pizza to you. It was absolutely one of my favorite all-time pizza places. But, however, okay, gripe session. Just deal with it. The powers that be decided that King Pizza needed to be demolished and torn down so they could build that stupid-ass Walton Arts Center. Why couldn't they put the stupid-ass Walton Arts Center somewhere else? Just a block away would have been fine and just leave King Pizza alone but no they had to build it smack on top of King Pizza so now the world is forever deprived from the wonderfulness that used to be 
baked at King Pizza. But anyhow, I'm sitting at King Pizza on a first date with a fella. And we're talking and exchanging, you know, information about each other, essentially. And so he's sitting there going, yes, I am majoring in law. I want to go into international banking when I grow up and graduate. The growing up part was the key part I figured out after a little bit, but that's on down the line. So, what do you major in? He asks. So, <laughs> trying not to blush, I'm going, I major in organ performance. Well, <laughs> he's going, ooh, can you make my organ perform? And I'm going, baby, I can make any organ perform. Just let me add it. Get my hands all over that organ. Ooh, what kind of organ do you like? Now I'm going, the bigger the better. I like them big. I want a full pedal board happening because I want to get my feet all over that organ. At this point, he's beginning to look just a little bit worried for some obscure reason. I don't know why. And I'm going, Oh, yeah, baby, I want to Bach out on your organ. Me and Bach are going to do some pretty things on your organ. And usually, I mean, if I was lucky, the guy would go ahead and let me eat some pizza before he ran screaming into the darkness. But that would be generally the end of that particular blossoming relationship. And so this scene repeated itself in various locales with various people. What do you major in? I'm an organ performance major. Ooh, baby, organ performance. Yeah, baby, organ performance. You got a pedal board? Let me pedal some Bach on you. There might be a reason why I didn't get married until I was 39. There just might be. My husband was a brave man. Or foolhardy, perhaps. Who knows? Or a bit of both. At any rate, so you can see why when you go to college and you choose a major, be careful what major you choose. It can be just a little bit interesting, especially when you're trying to impress a particular fella at King Pizza with Willie Nelson in the background on the jukebox singing... Don't go out late, don't care to go home about eight, just me and my radio. Ain't misbehaving, saving all my love for you, for you, so on and so forth. Ah, well, at any rate, so, um, so I've had an interesting time trying to explain to people about being an organ performance major and trust me when I was talking about this in college I ran into every joke in the books that could be made about my hands enhancing the performance of organs and I kept complaining that they were leaving my feet out of the picture but oh well they just didn't have a proper appreciation for my boy Bach oh, ho, ho. So, at any rate, um, I really don't know how this tape is going to turn out. I hope it turns out okay. Like I said, this is kind of a trial run, me operating this equipment completely unsupervised. And I'm going to try to sneak it up, load it up to, the, to our YouTube channel, Princess of Rossinia before the princess of Rossinia gets up. Maybe she won't notice that I've been getting into mischief while I've been unsupervised. So, at any rate, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you liked it. At any rate, we're going to be, we, the princess of Rossinia, and myself, the queen of Rossinia, we're going to be trying to upload things to our channel on a halfway regular basis. And um, we're having fun doing it and having fun making them. And so I hope that all of y'all have fun 
watching it and kind of going on this journey with us as we see what happens. So thanks for stopping by. Burr, it's getting cold. I need to turn the electric heater back on. I turned it off so y'all could hear me on this camera. But it's getting cold. So I suppose I need to go chuck another piece of wood in the heater and... Yes, the faucet is still dripping. Thank goodness. I don't want our water to freeze. I really don't. So, as I do this more, I'll get smoother and more practice with it. I seem to, I've, I've, I have observed that this seems to be a pattern with my favorite YouTubers. It's very comforting to watch their early videos because I'm going, oh yeah, 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 they improved with time. That means we will too. So, once again, thank you for coming by and sharing this video with me. And uh, I uh, had fun making it. And I guess we'll talk to you later. So thanks for stopping by. And okay, yeah, I didn't offer you any coffee this time. I do have some coffee here. You want some coffee? Have a cup of coffee. It's too cold to go back out in the dark without any hot coffee in you. So, you take care and enjoy your journey. Bye. How do I stop?